I hope we are alive and all is working. Let me just uh, pause the track. So, uh, let me switch to the live chat. Oliver is online. Van Dorp, is that a Dutch name? Yeah, <laughs> applause for everyone. So, the uh, topic of this show, this is a new thing I just uh, came up with that I wanted to try out, which is more like a composer chat or composer hangout. So, I am a composer, you are probably a composer, artist, sound designer, etc. if you are watching. So, I thought like, well, it's kind of lonely being in my studio all day long working on stuff. So why not connect like this with you guys? I already have the forum, of course, but it's something about that connection with live that's uh, uh, better for these kinds of discussions, I guess. Oliver is from, from Belgium. Um, myself, if you can't tell by the accent, I'm from Sweden. So the topic of this show, it's up uh, right there. It's composer success on YouTube because I made up my mind that I want to really focus harder in the next year on my own composer and artist career and I think YouTube is a great way to you know publish your tracks and hopefully build a fan base from it so I actually uh, have some notes here so what things I came up with um, for example these topics here on how to achieve success on YouTube as a composer. So let me switch over to my own channel and hello Jerry, welcome to the stream. Where are you based? Where are you watching from? So my channel, I started it in early 2011, so it's close to nine years old. And it has always been focused mainly on tutorials, education, tips and tricks, behind the scenes and so on. However, I always felt that I wanted my channel to be like this, like my, like my brand here. Michael Bagstrom, composer. Uh, so, so I want to be able to get success with my own music, because of course making music is the one thing that I'm most passionate about, and I'm sure you are as well. So I thought like we could discuss ways, if anyone have any experience on getting lots of views on your tracks on YouTube in one way or another, you can share them and discuss them here in the chat in this live stream. So before I started this live stream, excuse me, I just have to drink. I actually prepared some channels here, as you can see these tabs here, um, of uh, some composers and artists that get lots of views and various ways to get views. So, for example, if you compose orchestral music, I'm sure you are familiar with Alex Mukala, who has focused his channel on orchestral music tutorials and tips. However, when you go into the video section and sort on the most upload uh, or the most views, you can see that several of his top videos, performing videos, are just tracks like this one here. Uh, you can see by the time here. So this is a track. This is the track. This is a track. And this is a track. Which means that you can actually get, you see, 89,000 views here, 151,000 views on this one. Um, however, most of them here, if you just analyze it, is Final Fantasy VII, Pirates of the Caribbean, Final Fantasy VII. This one seems to be an original. So, is that one strategy? Do you have any experience of this, like covers of famous tracks? And he just shows his uh, DAW, which is FL Studio, I think, like the notes here. Uh, have you tried that yourself? Is that something that you think would work on YouTube? Jerry, Oliver, anyone? So 
So uh, if we scroll down, you can see again more tracks here, Reborn. And this is original, so it doesn't seem to have to be as covers because this is one of his originals. Of course, he uses like the titling uh, Epic Orchestral Post Rock. Perhaps that is something people search for on YouTube. I really want us together here in this discussion to find ways that can, if you make compose a track, I'm sure you would like to get 100,000 views instead of like, if you check my last track here, 145 views. And this is from nine years on YouTube, built a subscriber base of 20,000 subscribers. And then when I upload a track, I get this, 145 views. So that's of course ridiculous. Uh, we make great music, but how can we get it seen on the YouTube platform and get the views we really deserve? And I thought about doing covers, but I'm, I mean, I would prefer to do original music, but if this is like, if I could get 100 X times views compared to my original music, I would do it, of course. So, uh, Oliver says, yes. Have you experienced, have you tried this yourself on your channel? I don't know if it's possible in the YouTube chat. If you want to, if you have any idea, like a video that works for a composer, you, you can post a link. I'm not sure it will become a link if YouTube like blocks links in the chat. So that is one way that I thought about. Then if we, if we get to the next channel here, this is Adrian von Siegler. Check his subscriber base. 878,000 subscribers. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Why isn't, isn't anyone telling me in the chat? Of course, I need to have picture in picture when I show this. Let's see. Picture in picture. So you can see his channel. Sorry about that. You have to tell me if, if there's something wrong with the live stream, guys. So uh, now we're the, we were at the Alex Mukola channel focusing a lot of covers, like famous music, like Pirates of the Caribbean, Final Fantasy VII, and so on. Uh, IMA music, I think doing covers is the, the way to start, then sprinkle in your own music. Yeah. I mean, I have actually made covers before uh, on my previous band, on another channel, I don't think it's up anymore back in the days 10 years ago or so and what i realized was that i got lots and lots of more views so perhaps that is it, it like making a cover of hans zimmer john williams famous music like this on a famous game soundtracks however check out this next guy here adrian von Siegler. all right 878 thousand subscribers and no covers at least from what i found this is his own original music some of them are very long like compilations but let's analyze what how has he accomplished this well what i can see is that he has focused on like celtic music celtic music celtic music let's see i think he has like viking music or something fantasy music, a lot of Celtic in here. So is that another strategy to go all in on one particular style of uh, cinematic music and something that people are actually searching for? Like, I, I assume some people search for Celtic music in the YouTube search. And apparently, of course, he started way back, like this is seven years ago, nine years ago, when YouTube didn't have as much competition uh, by a long shot compared to today. But, I mean, check out his views. I'm down here and it's still in like 2 million, 2 million views on this. His most viewed is 40 million views. I think I'm like, I have like 400 videos for 9 years in total is like 1 million views or something. But I focused on tutorials and education, which is like a tiny, tiny, tiny um, fan base like interested in that. 
most people are interested in entertainment, of course. So, and music is in a way entertainment. However, in some ways, it's like a background ambience you're looking for. Like his Celtic music is probably suited towards, you know, relaxing and ambient atmosphere, whatever setting you are in. The next one is, uh, and this I couldn't do, but perhaps some of you guys have experience, is like doing artistic, super high quality music videos if you play an instrument well enough to do so, like Lindsey Sterling, Tina Guo on cello. Uh, yeah, I, I follow a lot of these guys, two, two cellos. And, uh, you know, these guys and girls, of course, that that has the production quality so high that it's pos impossible to ignore them and they grow their fan base from that. So, she, of course, she is more of an artist than a, a composer, but I suppose if you can play an instrument and do cool production videos like this, you can be a composer and an artist. So if you have any experience doing that, well, let me know in the chat. Uh, Luigi, how much time do you spend on a daily basis to create and publish content on your YouTube channel? So I basically dial back the YouTube channel a lot because after nine years, I spent... I don't even make a day's wage in a month from from my YouTube channel. It's like, it costs me money because it costs me time. So that's why I need to find things that really propel the momentum of my channel a lot. I, I want to find videos that can get 100,000 views per video to make it worth it compared to like 1,000 at the most. Uh, so I, when it comes to tutorials, education, I have changed that focus most of my time making courses on Udemy and other platforms, because that way I, at least I can uh, get a return from the time spent, because the amount of time I spent over the nine years is insane uh, when it comes to how little I actually gained from it. So now that's why also in 2020 I want to find a way to, a way to really do more music on my channel. My, my own artistic career, because that's like you guys, I want to make music and show my music to the world. And that's what we are here to find out in this and discuss in this live stream. How can we as composers get success on YouTube with our music? Uh, so that is one way. So time management tips. On YouTube, yeah, I I basically have not given up, but I don't do much YouTube anymore. If you look at my scheduling, like publishing the last month, it's not a lot. Because it's take it takes too much time. How can we how we how can we as composers get to that level that it's worth the time? I mean, if I haven't got it after nine years, I'm doing something wrong. The next one is this one here. He doesn't have much subscribers, but I, I I saw this channel and I saw like, okay, so he makes covers live on his MIDI keyboard. I mean, I have my MIDI keyboard here. I could do things like that. And at least he gets like, he gets more views on these, like playing his keyboard than I get from tutorials. I spend three hours on a five minute tutorial. That's, that's like, I could do this and get, uh, get a lot of views instead. I'm not sure if it works anymore. Let's see, four months, one year ago. I mean, I, wa I want to hear from you guys. This is not a tutorial. Again, this is a discussion we have here um, about getting success as a composer on YouTube. I mean, I am a music. I guess success on YouTube is accomplished over either being creative or original and hitting the nerve of time. Or do something with famous stuff that's original. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this guy here, of course, this is the role, the official channel. Um, he plays, let, let me mute this so I can play it. He plays this in a cool angle with a great camera quality and so on. But basically, this is just a cover on a keyboard. I could do this if I had a role. Um, and he got. Of course, this is their official channel, but anyway, one and a half million views from one video. I haven't got that from all my 400 plus videos of nine years of doing tutorials and tips and education. 
So how, what, what should we focus on? And then the final thing I came up with, so these are just my suggestions. I want to hear what you guys think is getting on one of these epic music, these curated music channels on YouTube. Like, if you can get on them. However, I think that by getting on these channels, you might get lots of views, you know, on this video. But you're basically growing their channel as opposed to your channel. Of course, some of those people, I guess, clicks a video description link and goes back to your channel. But I don't think this is the long-term solution. It can help with a little spike, I guess. So, I mean, going back to uh, my channel now, what I opted for in my last video, and uh, we'll just show you quickly, so I will mute the sound. So I spent a couple of hours doing this production with the, with the notes, like green screen out here. But, uh, so this is my DW notes and then have this text coming on screen and so on and made this but I only got 164 views um, so what am I doing wrong compared to this guy for example Alex he only has like double around the double subscriber base from mine I mean I have 20,000 subscribers and I get 164 64 views when I post a, a music video if you can call it that but it's, it's essentially the same as Alex does with his videos here and a lot of other people as well or uh, Adrian let's see can I mute like the entire chrome thing I don't know because I cannot play them with the music so because of copyright but anyway look at him he just has an image an image throughout and this has 24 million views, and it's not even a cover. Of course, it's uploaded in 2013, so... But I mean, if it is, if, if it was possible then, I guess it should be possible now, even though it's more competition. Perhaps not reaching 24 million, but a heck of a lot more than 164 views. So... To me, I mean, this is actually kind of attractive. If I had this, I think the visual look I could do for a music video might pull some people in. In fact, I want to ask you guys, I mean, how much do you think the visuals matter? Like, I, I spent three hours doing this. I could just have done, like, an image in a few seconds, minutes, uh, to do this. But this is 2013. Is it like, do you have to do something that has more visual, you know, quality these days because of competition? Like, like Lindsay Sterling with her music videos or this guy with this, you know, high quality production, different angles and stuff. Or can you achieve success just purely by the music itself, like if you have great music. What do you guys think? In the chat, please. So for me, I mean... Uh, depends on the content, yeah. But if the, let's say, if the music, if the music quality is the same, like so, this video and this video, how much how much does the visual visual quality like this guy here? All right, so he he does covers as well. Cool angle here. Yeah, background music needs no visuals, of course. I guess uh, I guess you're right when uh, uh, if we're talking about this guy because his music is of course more background focused. So in that sense, I guess he gets away with doing. Uh, you know, only an image that portrays basically the mood for the track. But, uh, I mean, this guy, he plays his keys. Let me see. I cannot play the music because of copyright, of course, but... And it, and it looks cool in this angle.
iPopon, iPopon music. I think you gotta have a good video picture as I wanna click on it. After I open the video and hear some cool music, I won't turn it off regardless of graphics. So in that sense, this could draw you in, I suppose. I mean, uh, when you have browsed through YouTube yourself looking for orchestral music, let's check the recent the newest on this Epic Music channel, for example, have they improved? What do they do today that they didn't in the past? Let me mute it first. Okay, so they have some snow animation thing going here. A cool image. Some lighting and shading changes. Is the mist moving a bit? So basically, it fades in, but then it's practically only this snow animation. I don't know. Is that enough to get your music viewed a lot? And I mean, please don't think of like we cannot compare the epic music curation channels. I wanna I wanna find composers channels. So for example for example Alex is the composer I could come up with uh, that has got lots of success on many of his tracks. If you know any other composer of cinematic music online here that gets lots of uh, um, views on his views, listens on his music on YouTube, then please write it because I, I want to analyze this more so I can take the correct decision for myself and you guys as well for next year. So the first seconds is the most important. I could see that, but I mean, aren't there some people that are just, doesn't have, that actually watch it while they listen and doesn't have the attention span like, oh, this is boring, nothing happens and then it turns it off. I'm not sure. But of course, doing something like Vlinzi here is, I, I cannot, cannot even do it. And even if I could, I would imagine it takes a lot of production time which I would rather spend on the music itself. So, do you guys, any of you have any track that got lots of views on your channel on YouTube? If you have, uh, post it in the chat. I think, I think it's possible to post links. If it is not, I don't know, write the name of the track or something. Because, I mean, this is so simple. Just an image with an animation on it, and then there's the music. Compared to, I mean, I spent I spent two hours or so on this to get all the notes to align and you know be screened out on the background. But I'm not sure how the how the algorithm works because I mean I have twenty thousand subscribers and I get one hundred and sixty four views. While some composers and artists get so much more from less views. Hey Alexei, I believe it's all about great content which people can relate to and look at, like Janky XL and Rick Beato. And I believe, that... yeah. So what I'm talking about is getting lots of views on music, not on tutorials and education. I have done education for nine years, and only got to twenty thousand views, uh, um, subscribers. So. And next year, I want to go all in on my own artistic career. I want to compose music more and, and get the, the music out there, which I, I am sure most of you guys want to do. So, Junkie XL, yeah, great channel. But, again, the, 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 it's, it's not the music videos he does to education. I don't know if he has even posted his only his track. Oh, let's check out Daniel James. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Daniel James. So let's let's check it out. What his best tracks again? Not live videos or live streams or something. Uh, most popular. Let's see. Most popular videos is. Oh. Again, 
His most popular video is a track. It's this Assassin's Creed Legion unofficial theme. Almost 1 million views. The next one is Assassin's Creed Valhalla theme unofficial. I guess if you find something that people talk about a lot, like a theme, in this case Assassin's Creed, it, uh, let's in fact watch how the video looks then. Right, so this is Daniel James. What's the video? It's an image. It is an image. So how can you get almost 800,000 views on an image? How, how is it possible? I mean, my I included the theme, the song or the style, dark, evil, orchestral music, because I thought like people, uh, I can, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so let me scroll up. Here it says, dark, evil, orchestral music. And then the track name in parentheses, because I know people don't search for the track name, they search for this style. So why is it getting so little views compared to, for example, this one? It's an image, it, nothing happens. And uh, the only thing, the only thing I can think of, okay, so let's, uh, let's just assume, okay, Daniel James does amazing music, I know, I know, but let's assume you or I could make music exactly like this. We have the set, in fact, the same track. Then the only thing that's different, because the, the visuals aren't in the entertaining, is this, is this title, Assassin's Creed Legion Unofficial the Theme. How does that work? Is it like spread on Reddit, like a, like a, you know, some viral thing? Or, uh, by the way, please, people, uh, if you can come up with any examples like this one, please share it in the chat. Like any composer that has a track, a music composition alone that got lots and lots of views. I mean, one hundred thousand plus views. Alexei, I remember I composed a track and just put Transformers image in there. I had more than a thousand views in one week and had all... Uh, can you try posting your link uh, to that video, Alexei? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure YouTube chat allows it. I'm, I'm new to live streaming, so I'm not sure, but I want to I wanna see that video so we have a concrete example. And let's find out more. Because I'm, I'm on a mission to help you guys at the same time as myself us composers on how we can achieve success with our music compositions on YouTube. I don't want to do tutorials only for nine more years. I already done that for nine years. Now I want to do the thing I'm mostly passionate about, more music compositions. But I don't want to do it for 164 views when you can get 800,000 views if I just, you know, crack the formula for it. So. Let's crack the formula here together. That's the theme of the live show, Composer Success on YouTube. Um, in fact, since you haven't responded, I will search for your name and see if I can find your channel. Is this your channel? JLX Music. I suppose you might have another channel, Alexei. Transformers. I don't see any Transformers video here, if that is indeed your channel. But it might be another one. No? Isn't this your logo? Let me let me know in the chat. Ah, so you deal... <sighs> yeah. In fact, I, I mean... I, I have to be honest, when it, I'm, I'm super hardcore on respecting copyrights i mean i know that's why i don't play the music now in the background and also you know using videos and other people's you know i never pirate anything but uh regarding the image in the thumbnail i think it's more of a gray area of course technically it isn't it isn't allowed it seems everyone gets away with like putting the Assassin's Creed image in, uh, not in this case, but you know, the Transformers image in your case. I have never heard of anyone getting cracked down on for using an image of a famous movie or something in a YouTube thumbnail. Could happen, of course. So, 
let's crack the formula for composer success on YouTube. So far, we have got my own version was to make something something that has visual information, something uh, along with the music. Alex done something similar here, so let's check it out. Whoops. I hope I don't get a copyright strike by that Bram. So, uh, yeah, here you can see he uses FL Studio. He has like text here and an image here and some animation. He basically went into a lot of stuff doing this, like some mosking here. But essentially, he does this similar thing that many people have done before. I first saw this with the, what's that guy's name, who does a lot of free, uncopyright, copy creative cloud music you know he has like thousands of tracks of creative cloud music he started this trend i believe back in the days so he can get 151,000 views on this probably because of this title final fantasy 7 remake ost battle theme and then people search for it and find you and uh, i mean then if you make, when he makes his own tracks, let's go back to his channel. So this one, 75,000 views on this. And this isn't even uh, a cover. As you can see, Epic Hybrid Orchestral, codename High Wind is the title. So people search for this, I guess, Epic Hybrid Orchestral, and then finds his track. Uh, I think your video doesn't relate to anything specific, thus no views. I think people only search for stuff they already know, like films, games. Probably, but I mean, um, dark orchestral music or evil orchestral music. I mean, if people, how come, where was he? How come he got from epic hybrid orchestral 75,000 views, Alex here? Because I my only conclusion is that people search for this term and find this track. And that way he got this many views on this already little track. It doesn't have any correlation to like a movie or game. It's just this theme here. Okay, so perhaps more people search for epic hybrid orchestral compared to dark. You know, you People can search for dark orchestral music or evil orchestral music, and this would uh, YouTube would still recognize those as search term for this title. By the way, so it doesn't matter if you include more words here. Uh, he has already accomplished with cover. Ah, uh, yeah, you. I think you're onto something there. Uh, so basically, start doing some covers. First, I don't think I have done any covers on my channel yet. All right, so let's let's explore that further. I am a music. What what are the trends next year? What what covers should we make? I mean, I, it's not for me. It's for all you guys. Anyone who wants to break into the YouTube space as a composer with your music. So I guess Hans Zimmer or John Williams or some famous composer is always one thing you can do. I noticed like back in, when was it, May, June, when, when the Avengers movie came up, came out, the final one, lots of people made covers of the, in fact, let's search for it, Avengers Endgame. Music. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so we get lots of... Hmm. Here's a cover. Someone plays it on a pad, launch pad. Let's see. Alexa, you managed to you managed to post the link. Oh yeah. Damn it. Something went wrong. Why can I why can't I open the copy link address? Let me try it and get again. Studio? I'm not sure what happens there. 
I cannot get that link. I cannot copy the link from the chat. Copy link address. Let's try that one. No, I get like studio because I'm in the studio platform. Like the dashboard for YouTube. What the, what the heck is going on here? Let me see what Alexi wanted to show. 50 million views. Who's this? Zach Hemsey. Who is this composer, artist, or whatever? So, only images, it seems. I pop on music. Uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounce anyone's name or, or artist's name. Yeah, sadly, covers tend to gain more views, but let's focus on how to get your original views. Of course, a soundtrack that has a Assassin's Creed in its title is definitely gonna be on top. Exactly. But again, Alex, Alex's track has epic hybrid orchestral. Is I mean, uh, and of course, uh, this um, Adrian guy focuses on Celtic music. It's, Celtic music is, is basically all his titles. So he owns that term. If uh, I, I believe if anyone searched for Celtic music, Celtic music, I would assume Adrian, 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 Adrian. He owns, he owns the search term. Um, I pop music. Or is starting from covers the only way to gain your starting audience? Yeah, that's what I'm, I mean, I, I feel that more and more. Like, YouTube has become so crowded, uh, especially for music. You know, YouTube is the biggest streaming platform for music. Did you know that? More people stream music from YouTube than all the other services combined. Yeah, I cannot play the track, Alexei, of course, because of copyright. But, um, I mean, 50 million views. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, that is the question. Is uh, starting from covers the only way to uh, get a starting audience. Because then let's say, um, let's say this then, I will write in the chat now. What themes, composers, and niches can we as composers explore to do covers on? All right, like that. Aurora music, yeah, you need to cover first, then original composition. Yeah, so so let's think about that question now. What themes, I mean, spe specific themes, like, you know, the Avengers theme, it's out. It's, it's almost a year ago, or a half a year ago, it's out. It, things move fast on YouTube. What's the next thing? Is there something coming up? I mean... Should we do something on Star Wars now? Because it's like, is it on? Is it screening now? The new Star Wars uh, movie. I think perhaps that might be the thing. Find out the next big thing in a movie or a video game, probably a movie trailer or something, and then do a cover on the theme. Uh, I think a small percentage of YouTube users go on exploration for unknown. Yeah, they don't. They just want to consume, or they go for something that's themed for atmospheric and relaxing music. I know one guy who has relaxed daily. Uh, his name is also Michael, I think. So he's all his channel is only instrumental, relaxed music, like ambient music, atmospheric music, and people use that for studying or you know help with sleeping even. So in that case. His niche is better because people search for it. I will listen to it later, Alexei. Or JLX Music, I should say. I'll just stick to the chat names. Uh, may check on the recent movie. So, what's coming up? How, do you know any... Can you post a link to a website that, that has, like, the 2020 upcoming, you know, new movies or video games or whatever? So we can actually plan this because we need some time to plan before we do a cover because if you do it now for Avengers, it's pretty much too late. Everyone's 
and his uncle has already done a cover on Avengers theme. So watch the next one. And Star Wars, yeah, it's coming out soon, but I mean, Star Wars has been there since the 70s. How many covers of Star Wars are there? Millions, literally. literally. Always be the fan base first before your original composition. Exactly. But I thought, like, I, I, I have, uh, of course, this is my mistake. I built up a channel to 20,000 subscribers, but uh, apparently composers don't want to listen to other composers' music. They just want to have education. So, I mean, that's that mistake was on me. Uh, and that's this mistake you see on Facebook as, you know, groups and stuff like that. Even my forum, like, very few people w will take the time to actually listen to fellow composers' music. And especially to give feedback that ne rarely happens. Local cinema is mock up for Avengers consider less. Do mock up better than covers. Uh, I'm not sure what you what what do you mean by that? Mock up for Avengers consider less. Do mock up better than covers. JLX music. I think it would work if. You could make an orchestral cover of something super famous, which is EDM or hip hop or whatever is in now. Okay, so orchestral cover, not of a not a cover of a movie theme, but actually a pop music of rock or EDM or whatever. Interesting, might work, but uh, also, um, I mean, we are all we composers. We want to find the audience that wants to listen to orchestral cinematic music. If if I make or you make that kind of music, you want to reach that audience that listens to that kind of music. So that is my audience. What is, is that all your audience by the way? Are you also making focusing on cinematic music? I mean, I'm all in on cinematic music. I I used to do EDM and rock as well, some beats. Now it's only cinematic music. That that's what I want to focus on for my career as a composer. Uh, that's not a mistake if your readers have helped people compose theirs. I think it might be a mistake, actually. Be uh, in one sense, I pop on music, because uh, as far as I know, YouTube tests every video on my own subscriber base, and if few percentage watch the video or, or click and watch a very short time, then it YouTube will say, well, then we don't gonna serve this to the wide audience. So they are testing it on my own subscribers. And if I, my own subscribers, um, like, only expect tutorials and education, because that's what I've seen on my channel for nine years, more or less, only, then if I post, post a track, they're like, no, I just want to be, I, I, I just want to get education. Okay? So, in a case, I, f I feel a bit uh, annoyed by it because I feel that is entitlement and I hate entitlement in uh, this modern world. Every everyone just feels entitled to something and not dis uh, respecting other people's uh, time. Uh, so that goes in all directions, by the way. So wh what I think is, if I compare my channel to other channels that are only have 1,000 subscribers, so 5% of my subscriber base, when they post a track, they can get more views because they haven't trained their audience that this channel is about education. So that is a mistake on my part. I wanted to go into doing more music, but I got stuck in the trap of only doing tutorials and ed education. And that is partly why I had dialed back and only made like one video every two months instead of two every week. Because it's I don't feel it's uh, as much worth it anymore. I see mockup can show others that you have skill. After that, they will follow and ask for your original composition. Yo, oh, yeah. So, so you mean don't don't do a complete production of a cover. Just do a fast mockup. Is that what you're referring to, Aurora? Yeah. I think it is. So, I mean, I don't, I, th I think this is basically out of the question for me. The Adrian uh, von Ziegler approach, which is 
dominating one single theme, Celtic music in his case. In my view, I couldn't ever bear to do one single sub genre of music for 10 years or whatever. And this one, the Lindsay Sterling approach with super high quality music videos, also goes out the window for me personally. I couldn't do it and I wouldn't want to spend one month film and produce one video. This one, I could see myself doing. Uh, a professional level mock-up is better than a f than fast cover. Yeah, I suppose you, you could say that uh, depends on the meaning of the word cover. But, um, I mean, I would probably do a track like, like this one in this style, but make it a cover of a famous track instead of having this my own composition in that sense. So this one I could do is, I want to know what you guys want to do with your music. I mean, what are you doing now to get views? And I'm not talking hundreds views, that's nothing. We need to get 100,000 plus views per video. So what is your vision? What is your plan to get there? That's what we are trying to figure out today. What is a good idea is taking your track and analyze it, play it here, play here and there back so people eventually listen to your track. Uh, that, might, uh, jail, that might be a good idea, just analyze. It could, it could work, I guess, but the thing is, we're thinking, we, I, I think that is a like, narrow mindset because then we're thinking about other composers. It's only one point of a point percent of people that actually make music. I think the only way we are going to reach millions of people is doing videos for the masses, not the point one percent, but the people that listen to music because they like the music itself. So I would prefer to find ways to to do to focus only on the entertainment and the you know the uh, the satisfying video for the viewers, not or the pleasure, not the not the uh, not the educational side of cinematic music. A lot of hip hop producers do this, and they say a lot of artists like it, and most likely come back to their channels. Yeah, more, lots of other artists likes it. How can we reach? The people, the the ninety nine point nine percent that just want to listen to our music. So this one I could do; it could work, I guess. This one, if I had a cool camera equipment and studio, I, I don't think I could do this right now because I my studio is cramped. I don't have room to do this clean production. Um, let's see what. Did, you, did I miss a comment here? Uh, you need a stable fan first. You need a stable fan. Fan base, you mean? Yeah. And I guess doing covers is one way you can get there. What was this? Epic music. Okay, so... But I mean... I want to hear what you guys plans are for next year. I, I'm sure you guys, as well as I, want to reach 100,000 plus music listeners out there, not only other composers and artists. Hello Matteo, welcome to the live stream. The topic is on top there. Um, we're discussing how we as composers can reach more fans with our music. So, of course, cinematic music, orchestral music, and these kinds of instrumental chongers are not as widely popular as EDM or hip-hop or rock or whatever. But there are still people that love to listen to this kind of music that aren't composers and artists themselves. How can we reach them? I mean, uh, I started this because I, I, I asked in the forum a professional composers forum. You can find a link to it in the video description if you're not yet a member. Because I made this track, I haven't posted a track in a long while on my channel. Got 164 views. 
and I have 20,000 subscribers over nine years of spending literally thousands and thousands of production hours on my channel. So what, what can we do to get more into this amount of views that Alex Mukola has? 75,000 views on this original track. Or Daniel James had a couple of one with Assassin's Creed, which were like, if you used like Avengers theme or whatever, you might end up with lots of views just because people search for it. And then you end up getting the people that actually want to listen to that kind of music. Get some fans, a couple of them will subscribe. Then you, when you post your original music, you might get uh, people actually listening and watching your track, your own original track, instead of uh, only being interested in, interested in covers of famous music. So, Matteo, what music do you... St all you guys, what music styles do you focus on? Uh, let's see if we can find out, if I go to Google. Aurora Music, production vlog on your project, like Spitfire Audio Boss. What is, what is that? Spitfire Audio Boss. Uh, oh, BB, you mean the BBC Symphony Orchestra? I guess. Did they do this as a vlog? It could work if you combine your music with original cinematic video content as YouTube is more focused on viewing and only second place hearing. Um, I think you still would need to have the title being the Avengers or Star Wars or whatever is in right now. JLX, what do you think? Should we just try to do... In fact, you know what? I think I think for the next Christian Henderson was the channel. Yeah. He... He does a lot of vlog content. But, I mean, uh, I do a lot of tutorials. I want to do more music. Uh, Christian Henderson, Henson, his channel, he does a lot of vlogs and behind the scenes and, you know, stuff like that. But has he really posted a lot of his music? I mean, music in the style of just the music in the video. Because that's what we all are after. How can we post our music compositions without any tutorials or behind the scenes or anything? Just the track itself, like from beginning to end, and get views in this, this style, like 75,000, like Alex got here. Because, I mean, I could do vlogs, of course. I could do more tutorials. But my biggest passion is doing music. And I'm sure it is for you, too. I mean, otherwise, you perhaps you guys do lots of vlogs and tutorials as well. I don't know. If you do, let me know. But uh, I suspect that you guys in the chat, all of you are the same as me. You just want to do more music. Because that is our passion. That is, has been my passion since I was, like, this high. Like five years old. Try naming your next video how to make Revengers like music. Was that a pun there? So uh, I don't want to do how, how to. That's, that's the point. Uh, sorry to be hard on you here, but I, I want to find ways to do just the music. Uh, if I do that video and then it's just music, people will get mad because, oh, this is not a tutorial, it's just music. So I would not use how-to or tutorial or anything, uh, but only how to make the music. If I make a track here, I want to post it on, on YouTube, and how can I get 100,000 plus views on that music video? Whatever style the music video is. Could it be like this, like Alex here? He just chose his DW. This doesn't even have any text in it. So, and uh, I mean, we can check out Christian Henson's channel here. Let's see if the, I hope it's muted. And just check how many tracks he actually posted. 
I don't see anything here in the top videos. So that's not a good example either, because I mean, <clears throat> I could go all in on tutorials, but I have done I have done education since 2011, and I want to do more music, as I'm sure you guys want to as well. The YouTube algorithm, that's what I'm trying to crack here, because I know there's millions of people in the world that loves to listen to cinematic music. I mean, otherwise, how could Two Steps From Hell, you know, Thomas Bergerson, they're pretty famous guys in our niche. They get lots of listens on Spotify, views on YouTube, stuff like that. Or, you know, getting back to this, uh, Adrian von... Siegler, who does the Celtic music. I mean, check this, check this guy. His views. It's insane. He has almost a million subscribers. His, his top videos has more than 10 million views. And I mean, of course, this is ambient background music for the most part. But, I mean, if that works, I would do some music like this. I just want to find something that works, that gets more than... Uh, 164 views. Famous recent movie or theme is the only way. Is it though? That's, I mean, I could do it, but, uh, so recent movie, or is it like famous upcoming movie? So let's say something is coming. Let's see. Upcoming movies 2020. Let's see what's up. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what these themes are. I mean, The Grudge. Should I, do, should I do a horror? Okay, so let me see if what you guys think of this. Is this cheating? Like, you know, the Daniel James. So Daniel James. He did this. No. What's this? Does Daniel James play soccer now? How did he end up playing soccer? So here's a uh, real Daniel James. Now... Of course, he had done a lot of live streams, so he has a big following already, 40,000 subscribers. But then look at this. If I sort on most popular, his number one track by far, uh, number one video by far, Assassin's Creed Legion, unofficial theme, which I interpreted as this is not connected to Assassin's Creed at all. It's something he did as in like tribute. So if we think in the same way, what if I go here, uh, can you see this? The Grudge, horror movie, super creepy, dark, atmospheric music with some effects, sound effects. If I do something like in this style that could work for The Grudge, and then name the YouTube title The Grudge, let's see, unofficial theme. It's basically what Daniel James did. It's clickbait. It's cheating a bit. But is it like worth it as a composer to do it? Would it work still? Like he did it this a year ago. I mean, it has nothing to do with the grudge. It just happens to be the same kind of vibe and character of that style that could work in a soundtrack like the grudge. And if I put unofficial, it's not it's nothing. It's nothing illegal or anything, but it is clickbaity and, you know, uh, it's, you know, clickbait in the bad way, I think, because I do just for the views. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the grudge. But I think we have to bend the rules a bit just to get the views our music truly deserves. What do you guys think about that strategy? Famous title also work in some way. The bunch of Star Wars cover after the final trailer of Star Wars come up. Even a piano cover. Yeah. Um, because of the title, they work. So, Daniel James, Assassin's Creed, Legion, unofficial theme, and then this massive, um, you know, uh, what is it? Is this a Roman symbol? Roman Empire, I think. Uh, so, so this stands out as an image on itself. And then the title is, I, I suspect Aurora Music, since you're discussing this, 
If I search for Assassin's Creed theme, let's try that. Will Daniel James cover, uh, not even cover, uh, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed theme. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> yeah, so it's one, two, three. Number five, I mean, these are official themes, and then he, he just jumps in with two here because because he he nailed the title i'm i'm thinking like nailing the title is probably the biggest thing on youtube so let's go back to my track here what what would i have what should i have titled it instead of dark evil orchestral music i thought people search for dark orchestral music or something but per apparently not or it is too crowded in the algorithm, probably. So what we want to do is to find a theme. Assassin's Creed. That is not yet too competitive. Assassin's Creed. I mean, if I search for Star Wars theme. Uh, I don't think people will search for the grudge because OST in horror movies are more atmospheric, but the idea is right, just picking up on another movie. Okay, so let's go back. I mean, what, what, what uh, I would never watch some of these movies. What's, I want something cool. What cool movies are coming out where I could do music, which is more fun? Doom. Ah, Diablo. Wait, Diablo. Let's, let's do that. Diablo 4 theme. Evil orchestral music sounds a bit strange to me. Yeah, I like I like I like it. But it's uh subjective as all things. Or did you mean uh, my track? Well, the, the it's supposed to sound chaotic and strange and insane because it's written in four four, but uses basically all triplets, which is like the rebels in hell. It has the marching feel, which is four four, but then uses uh, triplets, uh, which means hundred percent swing to make it chaotic. But let's not discuss the actual music now. Let's just assume we have great music that people want to listen to if they could how could we okay so the title evil orchestral music yeah i mean are people searching for dark orchestral so people are actually searching for dark orchestral music at least perhaps i should just remove the evil from it um but i, I i'm not sure and in most cases, and also dark, I wanted to include evil because I wanted to have that powerful vibe, like, you know, the Darth Vader type of darkness, not the atmospheric type of darkness in that particular sense. I think we have to also, you know, describe the actual mood of the music as much as we can. It's like we have to weigh in so much because, um, I mean, you have to have a title that people search for. But you also have to have a title that describes the track. And hopefully you find a trend as well. So, uh, where, where was I? You, yeah, the Diablo 4 theme. Is this something we could... Or, or what do you do? OST, perhaps. I mean, this, is, this isn't even out. I should write this down. Diab Diablo 4 theme. Unofficial. Is that something I could do? Diablo 4 theme, unofficial. People don't have your associated worth for just the evil in the title. True. I mean, what, what, could, I, what could you do then? I mean... Uh, 
is it is it would it be wrong if I had put like Darth Vader somehow in the title, even though it has no connection whatsoever to Darth Vader, but I just wanted to like show that same sense of uh, emotion and mood? Um, or is that like too clickbaity? Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, is that a new movie? Cyberpunk 2020. What's this? Multiplayer. Is this a new game? I'm not really a gamer, so I'm not into what's go uh, what's viral there. What's this? Because the title's already famous. So if I put the like theme, do those go viral? Huh. Interesting. Is a famous game. Are there any more famous games that could be could work? I mean, I, I want I want to explore this again. Star Wars. What's the new one? Mandal Mandalorian theme. Oh man, too quick. Theme. The Mandalorian OST main theme has 363,000 views one week ago. Wait a minute. Mandalorian theme six years ago? How did that happen? So, this could be one. Famous games go viral, so yeah, I guess they do, but I, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, what, what type of, what type of themes do they have? Because I, I want to have like the, the film music vibe, like orchestral cinematic. Do those games still have that kind of music? Recreate the trailer music of Star Wars Final Trailer. Final trailer. Final stop. The Rise of Skywalker. A lot of gamers listen to music while gaming. That's true. Final trailer. So this is Star Wars' own channel. Skyrim music. Skyrim OST. I mean, is it even... Can you do it like this? If you put an official... Like so. Skyrim, an official soundtrack. But that's only had 560 views, so that didn't work for this guy, at least. Interesting. But Skyrim is one of those games where music played a major role. And I love the soundtrack, by the way. Even though I never play the game personally, it really has a dark, ambient vibe to it. Uh, does that reach the broader audience? I think Don have people created. Probably lots of people did this. What's more out there? I mean, we have Diablo 4 theme. Uh, that could be cool to do, unofficial. And what what I what I would like to do is something like, not to cover, but just like Daniel did here. His own track. This is an original track, but he just used the unofficial theme. Is that... I mean, I, I just want to go in... I mean, he has got... 13,000 likes and 160 dislikes, so it, you can't you cannot even see the dislike board there Which means people really enjoyed it. Oh it, Apparently the game doesn't even exist. So so he just Imagine a concept for an assassin assassin's creed game and Then made this unofficial theme. That's that's pretty clever. I have to say 
All right, so if I do that like for for the Star Wars or let's say Diablo because I'm super into the dark stuff now. Diablo 4 theme and then like unofficial. Um cuz this I don't know when this game comes out. But I just imagine that if I do this and put like Diablo 4 theme unofficial, I will get massive amount of dislikes be because people are annoyed because it's not real. Even though it says unofficial in the title, people will dislike it. I d I'm just figuring that now. What do you think? Are people... Will people like dislike it just because it's unofficial even though it's in the title or will they just think oh this like a, a cool um, tribute to Diablo 4 how mean are people on YouTube I would say pretty mean in most cases sadly uh, so this one I could do Star Wars I have to say I have tried that like super fast rhythmic brass writing writing for brass um, that John Williams does so well. Uh, I think you really need to nail that before you try the Star Wars sound. Your music needs to have professional quality even for putting famous talent. Exactly. Uh, otherwise, I guess it doesn't work and suit the game or trailer. Yeah, so it has to be something that could work as the theme, but it's not actually the theme. So, if I go back to my list here, so we have covers of famous tracks. And this is really unofficial themes. Unofficial themes. And let's see. That is something I would prefer because... Hmm, I don't know if I want to do too much, too many covers. If I have to, I will. But... I mean, have you guys done lots of covers for YouTube and put on YouTube? If it sounds similar to the original style and sound, I think people wouldn't care. Hopefully, they wouldn't. Um, I don't know. I After nine years on YouTube and seeing what people does in the comment section and with the dislikes, I have started to become more and more cynical of how people act on the internet in most cases like very disrespectful uh so i don't know i'm hoping they uh, people are better than that but sometimes I, I just feel people feel so entitled so if it if it isn't exactly what they want they just dislike and even leave a mean comment which is another discussion why people have got so disrespectful on the internet in the last years but well anyway so that is the two top things i would say is covers of famous tracks unofficial themes go all in on one style like the celtic music nah i don't want to do that super high quality music videos i couldn't really do it music videos with keyboard rolly etc mm, i might do it uh or get on curated music channels. It could help get views for my uh, listens on my music, but not really my channel. So not really a priority for me. So I would say for me, these three are, are the most interesting to focus on next year. Covers, unofficial themes, meaning Diablo 4 theme unofficial here, for example, and doing music videos with these keyboards or something. If I can, uh, what are, I want to finish off what you, you guys have as a plan for next year to reach more people with your music on YouTube. Is this a strategy you will use as well? Something else? Any final tips you want to share about getting more views on YouTube? Something that worked even by chance on some occasion for you? Like some. Uh, 
strike of luck, perhaps, like this. I mean, you, you definitely need a strike of luck. But once the algorithm catches one of these, it will just propel on and on. Like this one for Daniel James here, Assassin's Creed. Unofficial theme, I like that. All right, so let's close this now. And uh, I will continue to upload uh, some of my original tracks just to make a playlist, because even if I don't get lots of views, you never know who is watching. It might be a publisher, music library, or someone important in the music industry. And if it might be worth it just for that, by the way. I think I recommend you guys to do the same. Just keep uploading music. And something hopefully will stick, get more views, uh, so that you can grow your fan base on YouTube and then do more original stuff that you want to do. All right, so no more questions or comments in the chat. So I'll just end it here and uh, I'll look forward to see. Uh, Okay, so I get some final comments here just now before I closed. I think in this age of internet, we should forget to go out to the right events and get seen as well. Uh, true, but I live in Sweden, so there's not a lot of orchestral music events in Sweden. And I have, uh, I mean, I did gig with my band in the past. Now I just want to compose music, film music and cinematic music in my studio, but get it out there to the world to listen to. The most popular cover of the latest Star Wars trailers trailer even had official audio in the title and still became super popular. So it's basically click baiting in the bad sense, so it's wrong, I assume you say Firefly. Um because official audio still became 95% likes. That's pretty cool to hear. So I mean, if you start to get lots of dislikes, I feel it just propels it by, by you know, herd mentality. So people just decide to pick on whatever it is. So I'll leave it at that. My, my view is covers of famous tracks, doing unofficial themes of upcoming uh, releases or movies and stuff, or music videos with your keyboards, Rollies, instruments if you play them and so on. And I think I will do one of these to try it out. Diablo 4 theme, unofficial, or Star Wars Mandalorian theme, unofficial. And see how it goes. It might work. So you see you guys in the next live stream and who knows what we will chat about next time. Bye guys.